Uh, tonight, I went 2-0 as a professional. Uh, faced George Matichuk, got in there in the second round, I finished him. Uh, it was awesome. Obviously, it took one little shot, and uh, other than that, I figured him out. Uh, wrestling work tonight. Uh, I was able to pass the guard and uh, just land significant strikes and wear him down. Uh, first, first of all, is relief. Always relief. Um, um, feeling, feeling great. Uh, all the positive energy that uh, my friends and family um, are providing me is just amazing. I can't even absorb it all. So, uh, hopefully, all night long, we'll uh, we'll keep we'll build on that positivity and all that fun. Dude, I'm, I'm I'm healthy. I'm good. I'm back to training. Um, I, I plan to have uh, a busy year this year. Um, call this one and zero on the year. Uh, I plan to have four fights. If I'm being realistic, if I'm being unrealistic, I want to have five fights. Um, obviously, that's going to take a lot of training, a lot of uh, rehabilitation, you know, to stay healthy and stuff. But I'm up to it. I'm up for it. Thank you. You crushed it today. You think so? How does it you think feel, so? Yeah. I, I never, I never really know if I crush it or not. Like I know I won. I know that's great. But I'm not watching from the outside. I'm in there, and it feels like chaos in there. Um, and I, I don't know. I'm, I'm always. Not that it's doubt in my head, but I always try to keep myself leveled. I never let myself say, oh yeah, you're doing great. Um, so yeah, I don't, I never actually know how good I'm doing in there, honest. I mean, I knew I was on top, I knew I had top position, but I was like, you know, it's not over yet. It's not over yet, don't get excited. So it's not over till it's over. What is it about that chaos in there that attracts you? I love it, I don't, I don't know. I think it's just something I had uh, in my household growing up as a kid, maybe. Uh, it's something that I'm, just accustomed to. Um, it's something that I like to control though, right? It's about finding that chaos and then being calm in it. Never letting emotions uh, come into the picture and, and dictate any of uh, your actions. Um, no, I, like you said, I'm just, I'm just freaking happy. It's, it's a sense of relief. Um, as much as we want to do it, as much as, you know, we sign, we sign the dotted line, we train every day for this. Once it comes to this night, it's like, oh shit. Here we go. <laughs> it's time, um, you know. And then it's just like waiting for your turn to get out there and dealing with the crowd and stuff. And then I've heard that I heard that the crowd was really, really loud. And, and I appreciate that. I love that. But I, I'm not saying they weren't loud, but I hardly noticed because um, I'm, I'm just focused. I've got tunnel vision on the cage, um, and I just try and accept all the good energy that they're throwing my way, and but focus on, on what needs to be done. No job I've ever worked motivates me like fighting. Um, there's no detrimental result in being late for work or uh, you know getting fired or something. But if you show up unprepared for this job, you're going to be exposed. And so, for me to pursue a life of martial arts, it's like I'm uh, I'm being as honest and as hardworking as I can be. So I, I just feel like for me to live the best life. That Lucas Newfelt knows how to live. He's got to be the wild thing sometimes, <laughs> and uh, and compete, and and always put myself up against that that next toughest challenge to grow, to grow and evolve as a person and a fighter. I want to thank my sponsors. I want to thank my friends and family. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, I, I've got everyone else to thank, you know, but me. I, I like to think, right, because. As, as singular as a sport fighting is, you need a team behind you, you need sponsors behind you, you need a loving family behind you. I don't, I don't know if needs the word, but it sure makes a difference. So uh, I'm just lucky, fortunate, grateful. So I get to keep doing this.